the next thing that we want to do over here is when we click on this particular employee we would like to go to the edit screen and where we can edit our employee so how we can do that one is let's go and create a first of all employee edit employee screen so i'll just copy and paste it over here uh, let me duplicate this one and then i'll just rename this one to let's say we want to rename this one to edit employee screen right edit employee screen so that should be fine and then we have to rename this one too so i need to rename this one to edit and here too edit and here so let us rename all of this and uh, here too and we have here let's edit this one too and one more here so we got the edit employee screen the next thing is that when we click over here we want to navigate over here for that let's go to the home screen and in the card what we want to do is we want to wrap this with a new widget so let us wrap this with the i think the card so i think with this card i will wrap it with the uh, let's wrap it this one with the gesture detector and i think here go to child and set this one and i need to close this one somewhere here so down below uh, here i think okay so here is the one that we need to close right and this gesture detector has to offer us with a lot of on tab functionality on tab so we will add the on tab right so sorry on tab right so when we tap that one we want to uh, execute or we want to navigate to the next screen so how do we navigate to the next screen each year uh, navigator dot to pop push to name right push name push name and here we need to provide the name route so currently if we go to the route i think we don't have any route for that one and uh, so let's duplicate this one just copy and paste it uh, below over here and let us create the route for it and that should be of the edit employee right and this one we want to go to the edit employee screen so now i can just pass this one over there just go over here and here we will just pass that one and that should be fine so next is uh, if i just hot reload and if i click on it uh, we are going to that particular okay so we need to change this name right so if i go to the edit and i need to change the the title over here so it should be of the edit right so and if i hot reload again so you should get the edit yeah so now we got the edit and then now we want to pass in the parameters so we need to if you go to the app over here database we need to pass in the integer over here to get the single employee so we need to get the single employee and fill in over here so how we do that is if you go to the edit employee we need to get in that particular parameter so i'll just say final int and i need to get the id so here we will just add that one required uh, this dot id so we will pass in the id so the route we need to pass in the id so let's add that id over here and now how do we get this id over here 
so to get that id we need to get the arguments so final i'll just say args and that args will be the settings dot the arguments so we get that one and now here we will check the condition if if the let's say if args that we have is a type of the int if it is the type of the int then we will return this one right so we just cut this one and uh, paste it below over here so we paste it over here and there we will pass in the arg that we are getting so that's and here we will otherwise we will return we have to return something the error route so if that is uh, not the parameter is not type is the type of the int then we will return the error from here i think that should be fine All right so the next thing is that we will go to our home screen and whenever we are passing in that one so where is the tab so we have a set of a tab over here we need to pass in the another argument over here and the argument is we need to uh, particularly get the id so how do we get the id is here so uh, where is the id 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 and okay so id is down here so we need to get that id so id item count and employee is over here okay so i can get it from the this employee right so i can get it from employee dot the id so this id is a type of int okay that's great so if i go to reload this application and now i have well, let's to click on this this will pass in us the parameter of a two so now when once we have that let's go back to the edit and in the edit we are getting that one so here we will call that particular function so i think in the init set i think we will call that one so here let's call that one final and employee which is of equals to underscore db uh, dot we will call the get employee and pass in the id that we are getting so currently we are not able to get this we need to call the widget the widget dot the id okay that should get us the id okay so this need to be before we can call that function so here we need to call before okay paste it over here i think that should be fine now we have this employee okay so i need a uh, this is returning us the employee data so here i will just say let employee data that we have is the underscore mpl underscore employee data so i think here we will replace that one with the employee underscore employee right underscore employee data and that should be fine okay why it is giving us the error the employee return type i think is the correct the value future employee can be assigned to the type employee data okay i think that we are getting a future so um and then i think we need to call i think we cannot do it here so we need to go down over here and we need to call it from the future function so let's let's go down and create a function over here somewhere here uh, let's call it as a uh, let's do a void because future void because this is not going to return anything for us future and the void and here we will say get emp loy employee right so get the employee and this will be type of the async and uh, once this is a async type then we will just go and call that particular function so underscore um, we have an employee 
is equals to await and then we will call the function the underscore db dot the get employees right and not the employees it should be get the employee and we need to pass in the id that is from the widget dot the id okay i think that should be fine now we will have this and we will call this function uh, let's call this function from our init state so once we have that init state here we will call that one okay that should be fine now now we got that particular employee data already so now once we have that what we will do is and then after that we will just go and set up our let's go down over here and we will set over here uh, we need to set the underscore right so underscore the the, mm, the username so we call it as a username controller dot text and then we will have to set it by the underscore employee dot the uh, the username right so let's duplicate this line and here should be underscore the first name and here should be the last name and here we should get the, the date of birth right and similarly we will change it to first name and this one should be the last name and here should be the date of birth right so we need to change this one date and time dot um, to let's convert it to this string and here i need to close this one let us run it one more time let us try to test it out and yeah so we are getting it right so we get the demo three if i say to demo two we are getting demo two and then we want to go to seven so we are getting that's working fine right so you can just go in if you want to format the date and all of this stuff so you can just go and format and uh, the next step will be to just update it right so let's do it on the next one till then uh, have a great day